And then ba- Bubbles the Talking Dolphin turns him into three D men, and then we actually swallow them up, takes them up to the surface, yeah, and yeah, then basically. they all turn three D. Yeah, and then that's where basically the whole rest of the, where the whole rest of the movie takes place, and it's the pretty awful half, in my opinion. Shut up. Dude, it's dude, a, it's dude, a, it's good 3D. You gotta admit. The 3D, like, I don't think it's like necessary. Like, that's what I think. I don't, dude. It's it's just they never they never really covered that ground except as of late with like the Christmas specials and stuff. But, but they never, it was, but, but they never like, really did it in like a full That thing. special was good, really yeah. good. Yeah, but they they never really like. I like okay. First of all, I will I will say this: the the animation style of the movie is like. Like the animated portion of it, it's it, basically it's like, the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like. basically it's basically like if they took the SpongeBob movie and uh, the animation it. and the, yeah, like the, it's like a refined version of the SpongeBob movie. It's like I think movie. they could have just stuck with that and it would have been good. Like I would have loved the animation. Yeah, but style. like it's not like the CG doesn't bother me. It's not like that. It's like I feel like this was sort of last minute just to appeal I to a demographic. I don't think it was. Think honestly. of it like this: many movies have a lot of kind of CG because that's what kids like. They do not like. Maybe the last time I remember having some like kind of regular things in real life was Roger Rabbit. That was a kind of good movie though too. Hmm. Like, and that was like in the nineties. Mm-hmm. So basically, like, in order to appeal to a more def- more of a better demographic, oh. sorry, um, what they needed to do is that they put it in CG because that's what kids love. Well, okay. I'm, I'm, like the other side, it doesn't bother me. With, I just feel like this was me, sort of like at least the the second half of the movie with the CG is sort of last minute. Sort of. I don't. Like, I don't think. Like, I don't not... believe you in that department. Uh, what I think is, I don't think. I think the CG thing was something they they wanted to keep. There there was something that they wanted to use for a while, and they wanted to like you, they wanted to like save it for like a, a something really special, and that and the three D was basically. Like I'm the, the CGI or the 3D, whatever you want to call it, is what they is what they wanted to use the movie for. So they use they took half they took half of the movie anime and half the movie uh, CG. Like and, that's um, what I feel like. It's like I feel like it's just unfinished. You have two unfinished halves. But it, but it really it really does feel like action packed throughout the whole thing. Like everything all kind of all happens. The at animation once. Ha- the animation part I think is really action packed. Yeah. The, like, like, the like, animation, like, I lo- like, there's not a single part that I would change. Well, make it, if you made it a bit fleshed out, I think that could have been the movie in general, but, yeah. Yeah. Because the first yeah, movie I, didn't need it. Why I, th- the I, think, movie do? I think one of the things you complained about was the time travel, like... The time travel gimmick, it was like, I thought it was a bit, kind of, like, gimmicky, but then I'm thinking... I don't think that, that I was, think it was ne- I think it was probably necessary. Like it was, I, it, I grew on me. After it was it was necessary. I think because you when you started out you start when you when we were talking about it you said that it wasn't really like you didn't you didn't you weren't really all into it at first. Yeah, but like, like now the, like I think I under, now I understand completely why after some time of thought. Yeah, because it it really when you think about it the 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 whole premise in the end is getting the formula back and that's what it always has been from it, it's what it's been from the get go, but. The, the the time the time element the oh, time travel element was like the main well not the main but like one of the key plot elements to building the story I to think, to its to its climax. You know what? I just realized something. What? They could have went back to the prehistoric times. They could all. Why didn't they do that? Was such a missed opportunity. I, the, I, I'll I'll give I'll give you that I'll give you that. But yeah. but other than that, the movie was. Like so, the animation part, I yeah, love. Like the yeah, animation anime, part, I will, I can agree with you. Yeah. It is it is probably the best part of the movie yeah. to be fair. And a lot a lot of the references from the movie, the references in the movie don't stop, don't, don't stop once they reach the 3D. In fact, they speed up from there. They have, they have, uh, they have, nice Peter and Epic Lloyd in that. And well, they, they, and I'm they, not gonna spoil that. Okay, I won't spoil it. I won't feel it. You just said. Uh, I I won't go any farther. I won't go any farther. But there is a but, and. Also, they they, this, there's a but. Yes. So, um, so the gang all splits up. The gang being uh, SpongeBob, Patrick, yeah. Mr. Krabs, Sandy, I, Squidward, and Plankton, who sneaks in the SpongeBob sno- sock. Um, and I then say I almost say snock. <laughs> Speaking of SpongeBob snots, like yeah. they did in that one episode. Uh, it was the jail episode, if you don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they basically all uh go up into the surface, become 3D CG, whatever you want to call it, and then uh. They all try to find. They they're all on a quest to find Burger Beard to find out what happened to the Krabby Patty formula. Follow by following the smell of the Krabby Patty, and so. Antonio Banderas, that's who we yeah, get figured out. 
Antonio Banderas plays Burger Beard, the pirate, which AKA, is the, pirate. The, the big cheese, the guy who stole the formula. Anyway, we yeah. go through. They so find. They find, they find out why. They find out why the formula has has disappeared, and it's because of the, the book. Yeah, the book. And he then, explains. It and then much teleports writes, them to an island. Yeah, he writes them into an island, basically. Uh, like. And they teleport him pretty much to an island, but the thing is, SpongeBob apparently got a page. Yeah, he ma- he managed to snatch a page, and uh, um, which uh, is kind of weird because he never did that. We no, he, they, in fact, I don't remember. I can't remember. Well, they yeah, well, actually, to be honest, I don't remember. We we. I don't think we they. Need, I don't think they, they ever showed, they ever showed that. I don't think they ever showed. I'm that. pretty sure they did, but we probably just. Pretty much, he about wrote, it. so pretty much what SpongeBob writes is for them to become. Oh God, please, do I have to say this? Please, they become superheroes. Ah! dude. Did, what else are they gonna become? Like it's like women. It's like no. I'd rather have that. Actually, no. That would kind of be. I'd rather. That'd be. That'd be that would at least have be, comedic banter. No, no. That that would. If they turn to let's be real. If they turn to women, that would kind of like I, set the that, silliness levels to the roof of okay. I don't want to. I don't really want to do it. like. I there's a limit to how silly it can get. Um, for for me, it's like. A, but then again, there, there, okay. There's two a, kinds of levels of silly for me. There's. Uh, there's SpongeBob silly, and then there's the um, and then Family Guy silly, and, the, and then and then there's yeah, Family Guy silly, and then there's um, Cartoon Network slash modern day Nickelodeon cartoons silly. I don't want to go in anywhere near that. Give them that on my no, face. They're not. The no. thing is, though, they're not silly. They're yeah. just bad. Well, that too, but one second. Hold on. And anyway, where are we? All right. Sorry about that. We had to do stop some for a second. But we're back, and um, okay, so they turn to su- so basically turn they turn into superheroes. superheroes, and oh. um, come on, dude, dude, it sucks. So, it's not bad. Okay, let's continue with so the they, they, it, it gets better. In fact, it gets better when they actually get to fight Burger Beard. They basically SpongeBob turns into the invisible bubble, invincible bubble, um, which he has a power to shoot bubbles. Pat Patrick is Mr. Super Awesomeness who fights with his strength plus ice cream soft serve. Ice cream powers. Uh, also, Squidward, I think, can. is able to use clarinet powers to to absolutely music. absolutely obliterate the eardrums well, of then his ag- foes. Well, then again, he does it all the time. Yeah, it's, he's, it's like his. Powers. It's just it's just like amplified, if you will. Mr. Krabs is a uh, oh, Sir Pinch a lot, uh, aka which is, Crabborg. Which I actually did like what they did there. Yeah, and then he Sandy... couldn't didn't laugh because he couldn't laugh because he's a <laughs> robot. Like I loved then, what they did there. And then and then Sandy is the rodent who is well, basically it, a giant it, squirrel. It's a regular squirrel, like a, a real gi- life squirrel, which and, is yeah, a real life squirrel but abnormally large. Okay, I see where they went there with there. Yeah, and like, then and then Plank. Uh, I won't spoil that. That's later, but. They basically fight Burger Beard. Pretty much and, defeat uh, Burger Beard, get the yeah. formula back. And pl- well, Plankton, along with Plankton. Plankton, who helps defeat Burger Beard with TM work. Teamwork. Sorry. Yeah, you heard it first. Plankton is Help. a good guy. You For see once. what's wrong? What? Dude, he's been the good guy on many occasions. Anyway. Yeah, but like, it was, but he always turns. Like, the thing is, like, there's a point where I thought. Okay, he has the formula. He could either run or turn on them. I just want to establish that Plankton is a has like when he turns into a superhero, he is basically turns into Plankton, which means he's basically buff as hell. And uh, that's yeah. all I'm gonna say. Uh, basically, they go to def- Plankton defeats them, and then they turn they go back. But the thing is, oh wait, Plankton doesn't want to go back. You know why? Because he's freaking muscular and he wants to keep it that way. Yeah, well, and then, then they, and then they go back. Well, then again, they keep pl- he has abs. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he actually has abs on his skinny body, so that's a nice touch. That is kind of that is kind of yeah. creepy. It, it, it's it, well, hey, it's. I funny. would love to. I would love if they kept what, that. What's better? What I, I feel like also now that I think about it, I feel like that's a callback to just imagine that he's in his underwear and then Squilliam in his underwear. <laughs> oh no, oh, he's, he's hot. And <laughs> but in Squilliam's case, he's just skinny, but he has the pecs uh, of a. Of, okay, and that of, and they pretty much planted those. Back to normal is everything goes back to normal and that's pretty much the movie. And then it ends a little w- scene and that little- I will not spoil, uh, but you gotta watch the movie for yourself. My bad. But you, you gotta watch it if you wanna find out. Okay, so anyway, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Okay, it's so a, anyway, it's a really good end. Like I really like. Okay, I'm, I'm, now fi- now all right. Extended thoughts and opinions. I freaking Go. hate the movie. Well, the second half. It feels like it's been rushed. Like, the first half, it felt like they've been going into development. Then it looks like they took a hiatus for so long. And then they went back thinking, Oh, wait, I have no idea what's the demographic like again. The CG. Okay, CG. I feel like... I feel like... And then what superheroes? Rushed. Like, the CG superheroes. Like, I felt like... 
the, like the CG is like to be fair, it's really good. The CG is it pretty really fine. Is, it's really great. I love it. Like the CG is fine. Like it, there's nothing really technical hiccups, but like it's not necessary. I, I, dude, it's freaking unnecessary. It, it may, okay. Okay. I think the reason we might think it's rushed is because it's shorter than the animated portion of the movie. No, it's not because of that. It's male. Well, sort of, but like it's because of like they start pulling stuff up their ass, and well, that it's I like don't... it's like something that's like it's like no, no, you don't do that. No, you don't. That's not how you should do it in a movie. No. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, I'm I was I'm thinking about it right now. Not, it wasn't really like a half of the movie what the animated portion was. In fact. There was parts of the I know, CG. It's no, it's like, the thing is, like, no, it's like explain, where the CG explain. comes. Like, it comes through the most of the movie. No, like, after, like, three quarters of the movie's no, done. No, no, no. no, no. I'd, I'd say, like, a third, two-thirds in the movie, the CG comes in. But what I mean is, the the movie, the, there, C, there is CG, like, literally in the movie. The, the movie, start, literally, the opening scene of the movie literally starts out with a real-life portion of the movie. Yeah, with yeah, C, with like, CG. Like, it's like with, it's with like CG animated seagulls. I know, but it's like I'm not the problem with CG. It's just like and bubbles. It's just like how the superhero part went. That is just oh no. Bu- bubbles the talking dolphin is literally C- CG the yeah, entire time. I know, but like I know, but the thing is, bubbles the dolphin is necessary and is actually freaking hilarious. Well, okay, I'll give you that, but that doesn't mean that the entire CG portion wasn't necessary. The fact that they okay, they had to. How else are they gonna do? do it? Like, just do what the first movie did. What, and what was that? Just literally have the animated people coming in? Yeah, they, dude, that's it's a lot better. It's a lot kind of funny. Plus, it, plus it, like, I understand what you have, like, a new technology, which means new kind of ways to move with the character and stuff like that. But it's like, I you prefer, don't, honestly, they don't really, like, I don't uh, use that. Like, I would love to, it's like, it's a cartoon, right? Make it look like a, make it look like a cartoon. Well, I still think, I don't really see a problem with them using, I, I, I would have been fine if they used the animated per- people anyway, but I I I, I preferred being CG because it feels more like it feels mo- like it feels life? more real real it feels more, I almost said real like TM but no no, no. <laughs> it feels more real more lifelike 